Meteorologist Mary Kay Kleiss is back now with a check of our forecast that has a little bit of everything it seems today. Right, and we may be having measurable snow this evening, and the time frame for that is really 6 p.m. till midnight as it starts moving into the western suburbs. Our weather watchers have been keeping tabs on that. In fact, some of the places that would see the best accumulation would be north along the Wisconsin border. So Gilbert in Harvard, he has cloudy sky right now, and he said rain, sleet, hail, and even freezing temperatures. Love April in Harvard. Well, I think that Gilbert's going to have an inch or two of snow by midnight. And right now on the Indiana side from Alice, we have 39 degrees. She has an overcast sky, but calm winds, so that's nice. Her winds are starting to relax because it's been gusty in a lot of different places. And Marty in Michigan City, he has 40 degrees. He said, I'm still looking for spring weather. I have found it for you in the seven-day forecast, but not yet. Let's get through this evening. Our high temperature today, wow, we struggled again. 37, that was it. We should be at 60. Look at our normal low this time of year, 40. So we're way colder than normal. Around the area, we only made it to 35 in McHenry and DeKalb, 37 in Aurora, 40 degrees for a high in Joliet, and 39 in Gary. Here's what we expect. One to two inches of snow, mainly north of I-80, but I do think the best focus for that accumulation is going to be in Lake and McHenry County, where we do have that winter weather advisory up for tonight. So near the Wisconsin border, higher amounts are expected. All of this ends around midnight. And then we start turning the temperatures in the right direction. Because we're standing at the freezing mark at the lakefront, we have 33 in Aurora, 35 in Joliet, 36 degrees in Ottawa. Our winds are chilly right off that 40 degree lake to about 12 miles per hour now at O'Hare, 9 mile per hour winds in Gary. So, yes, I'm showing wind chill values. In the 20s for many places, feels like 26 in DeKalb and Aurora, feels like 28 degrees at Midway. So, this is the area of low pressure we're watching. It's now starting to move across southern Illinois. Winds come around this high in a counterclockwise position. So what that's doing is creating this pinwheel on the radar. And now we're getting closer to moving the dry slot we had midday out of the picture and allowing the backside of this to pinwheel in. So we are seeing that mixed bag over the Quad Cities. Closer to the city, we had a little batch of sleet mixed in with light snow. We still have light snow now from Evanston to Chicago. This is pushing eastward. Here are the amounts we expect between now and midnight, probably two inch total for Waukegan and McHenry, and we could see about an inch or an inch and a half at the airports, and then minor amounts south of I-80 where the temperature is slightly milder. So really, we could see that one to two inch total in Wisconsin, but here's the height of it from La Crosse, and then as you head into northern Iowa, where they may be measuring snow six to ten inches. Now, tonight, what we're going to see is snow until midnight, that one to two inch total, highest along the Wisconsin border, and then during the day tomorrow, sunshine. A welcome sight, but temperature still on the cool side, only 47 degrees for the daytime high. We'll see about 45 in Portage, 45 in Zion, maybe 50 degrees for a moment in Chicago as high pressure starts to sneak in for us. Okay, now I want to show you the good news. After we bring the sun into the forecast tomorrow, finally the temperatures are starting to moderate, and by Sunday we should hit 60 degrees. Now I think the wild card in here Friday, Saturday is going to be a little bit of lakefront cooling, so temperatures downtown may be a little bit cooler. But what I love, Robin Erica, because next week when we start pushing mid and maybe upper 60s. Oh, that was worth the wait, Mary Kay. I know. <laughs> It'll be great. Thank you.